Aloha, good morning. This is Karambi Davis of Karambi Realty International. Trust everyone's had a wonderful week. And last week was so fun talking about our diamond head cell. And I know I had several people reach out to me and they said they had never seen quite a situation like that in a home. So it's nice opening people's eyes to some of the things we deal with in this business. But today we're going to talk about all the nice interior designing that's coming out. And this was a report brought out by the... Um, a Forbes home improvement section and you know talking about what some of the decor trends will be for 2023 and let me just put this up on the screen for us the first photo they talk about here um okay so finally gray is out I know there's a lot of people out there that, that have been a little sick and tired of seeing gray everywhere well that is not the in thing anymore it's the rich vibrant hues are in like you can see here that pastel pink and you can see the wallpaper there on the wall and the beiges the different fabrics texture um, warm whites and earthy tones jewel tones like eggplants deep greens and blues and warm orange are also in um, and then if we go to our next photo here they mention the trend of light and moody this is a gorgeous photo I can just see sitting there reading a wonderful book on architecture or fashion on a Sunday afternoon with a lovely cup of tea or coffee. Um, here we have the contrast uh, contrast of brightness with soft elements of minimalism. Design, here's a quote from the designer. The brightness attracts light and lifts spirits while the darker tones evoke mystery and sophistication. Uh, this can also be paired with medium tone woods for a warm, inviting feel. Um, at, Atmospheric colors are in four tone sunset inspired colors, muted green. Uh, cabinets are popular right now, prints and pups of color in upholstery, wallpaper, rugs, and window treatments. Um, you know, some depth to everything we're doing right now in 2023. Serenity decor would include a place of comfort where you can de stress and have low maintenance. A back to nature um, element they talk about away from the urban sleek. Um, you know, I sometimes find bringing that indoor and outdoor feeling into a home is very, very important. And I know with our staging, uh, we actually have a vendor who I use to actually bring in plants. And um, that's a very big part of our staging now or styling a home that brings a lot of warmth into a home, I find. Um, handcrafted services like stucco. And again, the return of Art Deco is in. Let me... With the next photo here and return it with the modern twist they call it um designer quote less linear and li literal and more about evoking the overall richness of the period to make it work for many how many people live today deep jewel tones lush fabrics as you can see in this photo curved and chunky pieces of furniture um very rich feeling here as you can see and the fourth photo here, mixed materials. And here we see, you know, in the uh, the chairs and the um, stands here, mixture of wood and cane is popular apparently right now. Spatial, um, people now are designing dedicated rooms for specific purposes like craft rooms, fitness rooms, rather than multi-purpose rooms. And I know we recently sold a home in Kahala that had a craft room and it also had a fitness room. And I'm finding that in a lot of houses right now with especially fitness rooms, of course. And of course, we always mention the kitchen, very important element of the house and the kitchens minimalist away from industrial looking kitchens people are choosing luxe materials like vine marble knotty wood printed wallpaper bold metal hardware and statement lighting i've seen some amazing lighting in some of our luxury homes here in honolulu uh, absolutely gorgeous it's a real statement piece and it really doesn't take a lot to do if you you know you can always go into pin interest go under lighting if you look at my site under pin interest it's just on my name i've tagged a lot of things i love and you might want to take a look at that um, when Doug and I were building our house, I think we had thousands of photos we took from there, just so, so you know. Uh, there's an integrated smart home tech system to make things easier. People are definitely taking advantage of technology in homes right now and embracing the original pieces of the home with the new like exposed brick or refinished hardwood floors. 
So I thought that would be fun to share with you. Uh, please reach out to me, email, or just call me. Um, and I can certainly refer you to the different vendors out there who can give you a good design aspect, or maybe I have some ideas um, myself for you. Now, moving on again, we have Marianne's photos and her whole theme this week is about, you know, the different lighting that we have here in Honolulu. Let me just go to the first photo here. Here we go. And it's that sunset afterburn, the most colorful part of the sunset right after the sun dips. Hopefully you saw that green flash before it dips below the horizon, dousing the clouds in iridescent um, color, she mentions. And the second photo here is the golden our sunlight softens the bright rays of the sun to warm the beach. We're in endangered Hawaiian monk seal and surfer enjoy COVID created solitude. And then the brilliant colors of the rose ring parakeets, absolutely stunning, pop in the warm late afternoon light. Just gorgeous. And of course, sails reflecting on mirror like waters. Um, and very lovely how lighting you know, really plays into our mood. And of course, we mentioned that in our photos today, the um, day call for 2023. But thank you for listening to us again today and uh, have a wonderful weekend. And until we talk tomorrow, much mahalo.